Welcome everyone to the video I think everybody's been waiting for, the Windows 10 final release. Well, it's not technically the final release, it's just the RTM version. Well, and it's not even the RTM version because Microsoft says they're not calling it RTM anymore. They're just really kind of referring to it as the build, which in this case is build 10240. But however, this is the build that is showing up in multiple devices across the world. Yes, you can finally buy Windows 10 on devices in stores everywhere. Well, mostly Best Buy, at least that's what I've seen them. I don't know about online. Anyways, getting to the point of why you clicked on this video. Today I'm going to show you how to install a key or a KMS key in Windows 10. Now, first of all, I'm going to talk about a little bit of the legality issues with this. Now, is this legal or is it not? Well, I've looked up tons of stuff online and people seem to be going left and right and up and down about this issue saying, yes, it is. No, it's not. And here's my stance on it. Well, if you know what a KMS server is, or a, basically a software license, if you know what the software licensing management tool does, then I would say it's okay for testing purposes and for right now. Because a KMS key is essentially on a separate server, and the server communicates with the specific client, and they relay a key back and forth in a sense. So if that server were to go offline, that key becomes now inactivated because it's the same key that is distributed to all the specific clients. And that means that all that Microsoft had, were to have to do is terminate that KMS server and this key would essentially go away. So while this is a permanent activation, it's permanent as long as the server is online. Now you're probably wondering, well, what server are you talking about? Well, online here they have a website it's called xspace project now it's based out of china which really scares me because as you all probably know who are in security a lot of attacks come out of china so you're essentially letting china in your pc that's another problem that i have with this um so as you can see right here they have their public kms server and the domain well you're probably thinking what do you do with that and i'm about to show you that so before we do that, I'm just going to finalize what I said with the legality problems is please only do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any damages done to your system when it comes to putting this stuff in. Uh, ultimately, the best approach is to purchase a copy of Windows, the retail copy, not the KMS version, which is designed more for enterprises, places that have thousands and thousands of computers, not just one or two uh, machines. However, they do have this set up right now and it does work and I'm going to show you because it's quite easy to actually activate a system using it. So this is really a perfect key or a perfect activation method for a system like a virtual machine or something you're using just for testing purposes isn't really going to get destroyed um, anyways but nothing in which you use for personal data that is very sensitive such as financial stuff you're just asking for problems because in my mind this is just a backdoor waiting to happen. All right. So let's close that out and let's get down to the nuts and bolts and show you how to activate it. So before we do that quick, show you that it is not activated currently. Windows is just using the generic key and that is it. We're going to change that. So to start, you got a, some code right here and I'll post this in the description along with the keys right here so you guys can utilize this. All right, step one, you got to open up the command prompt using the administrative privileges administrative privileges guys I made a video not too long ago and people keep commenting and saying it didn't work well if you run it as administrator it will work that is if you have the cri the right criteria for your operating system as well and your system is up to par but nevertheless that's most of the problems were just due to people not reading or listening and they didn't run as administrator so run as administrator please it'll solve a lot of problems all right, anyways, moving on, let's take a look at what we gotta type in first. So we're gonna type in SLMGR, which is the software licensing management tool. And then we're gonna type in IPK after that, which is going to install a specific key, which is designated to our version of Windows. In this case, I'm running Windows 10 Professional. So I'm going to install the professional key. So to start out here, we're going to grab the professional key. We're going to copy it because we can now copy and paste in the command prompt. Finally, Microsoft, you did that. Then we're going to type in SLMGR. We're going to put a space slash IPK. 
or space and paste our Windows 10 professional key. Once that is in there, we're going to go ahead and press enter. And it currently installed that key successfully. That means it did a good job. Okay. Now make sure you grab the right key because if you grab the incorrect key, it will error out saying that it's not specific to that version of Windows. So just click OK. Now you proceed to step two, which we're going to type in SLMGR again. We're going to say slash to specify our switch and then we're going to type in SKMS. Now what this is going to do is this is going to direct the software licensing management tool to a specific DNS domain, which as you can see is speci specified right here as the domain we just looked at earlier, which is kms.xspace.in. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and we're going to put a space in between the SKMS and the KMS of the domain and it should look just like that. Once that is put in there, you go ahead and press the enter key. You should then get a message saying that that was successfully configured, which it did. All right. So once that is done, we now have to type in one more line of code, which is SLMGR again. And then we type in our slash for our switch and ATO, which is going to then send the communication to the KMS server requesting for an activation. You then press enter after you type that in. And then you should get a message back saying that activation professional edition and we have an error reporting the computer cannot be activated. No, okay, it could be contacted. Um, so now sometimes this will happen. Uh, you just gotta kind of try it a couple times. Sometimes with my virtual machine, the internet doesn't exactly work all the time. So just give it a minute. And there we go. So now it basically is activated. So if we go back now and look, Windows is activated. That's it. And if we change product key, we can obviously type a new one in here and that's it because it's already activated. So that's it guys. It's pretty easy. Um, nothing really to it. But now, like I said, only I would recommend only using this on a virtual machine. And this is only going to stay up for probably a short period of time. I'm assuming Microsoft is going to take this down unless of course these guys are paying their bill. Um, I don't know what Microsoft's going to do about this. Uh, and quite frankly, they're also offering Windows 10 for free for a lot of uh, people who had Windows uh, 7 or Windows 8. And I know they originally announced that they were going to release it to even people who pirated Windows. So I don't know if they're going to take this down or what they're going to do about this. So, But keep in mind, I do not condone piracy. This is just a video on how to do this. Um, so please just use this for testing purposes. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe for more security videos and other techie tips. Let me know what you think once again, and uh, that'll be it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, and that's, that's all. So see you later.